What is a happening, everybody? Thanks for coming back and checking out Beer Times with Scott. I've got a product review from a company based out of New York, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is one of the best companies that I have found already for this year. I've only said that, I think, once before. I'm saying it again. We're talking about untamed beards today. Based out of New York, like I said, the owner of the company is Nick. I've been hearing a lot of good things about one of their specific scents, and I actually got, got it in a giveaway. He, but he did a live stream with the Bearded Buckeye, and all he said was, if anyone would like to have a beard balm, just say I would in the comments. I was the first person, and I got it. Thank you very much for sending it out to me. The Gatsby and Citrus Spice is what we're going to be talking about today. These products are incredible. These are two of the best scents that I have found for the year already. And like I said, it's crazy to say that because it is still very early in the year. I'm impressed. 100%. The Gatsby Citrus Spice. Matching balms as well. The packaging of this products, they don't they're not flashy, but they're nice. They have class to them. They have a parchment paper labels, one ounce amber glass bottles, screw off top with your inhibitor resistor dropper. And these are the good ones where you literally just tip it over and tap it and the stuff comes right out. The balms. Now keep in mind, I'm colorblind, so don't give me any heck, guys. It's either bronze or it's gold looking, one or the other. But two ounce screw off tins. And you can see that I have a pick in there. That tells you right there that these are fairly damn strong balms. They are. They really, really are. Pricing. This is where the catcher is. He's been out for, I think, three months as of right as of the recording of this video. $8.99 for a bottle of oil, a one-ounce oil. That is literally one of the best price oils that I have found ever. That's a hell of a steal. The beard balms, two ounces, they're either $13.99 or $14.99. I can't remember which one. And the he sells a 3.4 ounce jar of beard balm as well. And I don't know the exact price of this, but I know it's one or the other. It's either $17.99 or $22.99. One or the other that is a hell of a steal either way, whichever the price is. A four-ounce balm, $22. Companies are selling two-ounce tens for that price. What's that tell you? Pricing, immaculate, immaculate. Delivery systems are great. So let's get to the actual ingredients. We'll go with the citrus spice first. And the ingredients of oil, both oils are sweet almond, grapeseed, jojoba, argan, and the scented essential oils. However, the Gatsby, I will say, I'm not exactly sure which one, but I know Nick infuses coffee, coffee beans, with either the argan or jojoba oil. And depending on how long he infuses them and heats them and roasts them together, depends on the strength of the coffee scent itself, which is pretty damn cool. I think it's really, really cool that he does that. Now let's get back to the citrus spice oil here. See, when I first opened this up, this threw me for a loop because most citrus and spices that I smell, they smell almost the, exactly the same. They really do. You get a little bit of both, if you know what I'm saying. This is more like a wild citrus and a wild spice. I think I think this is like maybe a, a wild orange or tangerine. Not exactly sure which one, but I'm getting like a cinnamon. I'm getting like all kinds of different spices in here as well. It doesn't really smell like a Yankee candle because sometimes citrus and spice does smell like that. Not this one. This is one, if not the best, one of the best citrus and spice products that I have found and used. And I don't really use a lot of citrus for the simple fact that they don't last very long. And I'm not knocking them. They just don't last very long for me. This is the first one that has lasted me more than four to six hours. This scent alone lasts me the entire day. And I mean two o'clock in the morning to in the nighttime. It may not be 
a strong, strong scent, but I can smell this for the entire day. I did not have to reapply this because I like to make use my oils twice because I like to smell them all day. Neither one of these. This is, I'd say, a light to medium. I don't want to pour these out, but they're a light to medium in the weight, which is perfect for me, a happy medium. I'm fine with that. To two thumbs up for the citrus and spice beard oil. The matching beard balm. And the logo is real simple. Just two straight razors. And I like that. It's just simple. It's classy. And the beard balm. I do not have a pick in this one, but I do have to use a pick for it. See, look here. I'll show you on camera. You got to dig into it quite a bit. It's a little firm. Once you get it out, it is nice. It breaks down really, really easy. The ingredients for this... Sweet almond oil, grape seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, shea butter, mango butter, raw yellow beeswax, white beeswax, essential oils, and vitamin E. And these balms, both of these, when he first started making them, he was using two different holes, like a, like a light to medium and then a firm. And I think now he's just using for the medium to firm hold because both of these I had to use a guitar pick. And they don't, it, it's not hard to get, you know, killer hard to get out. I've had extreme insanely strong balms that hold but this is medium to firm it's right in the middle it's not hard to get out i'll show you with this pick here it comes right back it comes out like no problem and you don't have to really work it work it in to break it down it just requires just a little bit of effort not crazy too much but the citrus and spice it lasted all day the scent is almost as strong as the oil itself, it, and it complements each other perfectly. Great conditioning beard balms, great medium to strong hold. Two thumbs up for this beard balm right here. Now the Gatsby. The Gatsby I say for last because this is one of the most simple but complex and best smelling oils and scents I've ever smelled, and it literally is two things. Coffee and sandalwood. That's all it is. I think it's Australian sandalwood or Austrian sandalwood. One or the other. I can't remember. You open this up and it's like, wow. It's it's not a punch in the face. It's like, wow, this stands out. I've said it tons of times. I'm a big fan of sandalwood. And this is right up my alley. I really, really enjoy this set. You can see from the... I was using the beard balm just as much. Man... This scent for the Gatsby, the beard balm scent, is, all, is exactly as strong as the beard oil itself. This company stands out to me very, very much. I know Nick's only been at this three months. He has two or three other scents. I know he's got one called Knights Templar. I think he's got a woodsy scent as well. The Knights Templar, I think, is like a frankincense and myrrh. And the woods, wood, wood, Woodyman Woodsman. I think it is basically your wood scent. I don't know the exact scent profile. And I know he has other ones in the works as we speak, and they're just not released yet. But this guy, for being out three months and the prices, and I know he did tell me that he made the prices what they are because he is getting started and he wants to get his name and his product out there, which is great. And even if his prices go higher, I'm going to go tell you guys right now, they're worth every penny. Untamed Beards, two thumbs up, five-star Beard Times with Scott rating today. This is one of the best companies I have found for the year already. I really, really enjoy both of these. I think you guys are going to really enjoy these as well. Do I recommend these products? 100%. I absolutely love both these scents. I love the oils. I love the balms. I'll use them together, separate. It doesn't matter. I really enjoy these. The big question is where are these going in my stash? Right here. Top shelf in the rotation, 100%. I absolutely love Untamed Beards. I'm really glad and very appreciative, Nick, that you had me to review these. I hope to work with you again. Two thumbs up again. Five star Beard Times with Scott rating for Untamed Beards. I will have the link in the description box below or you can get to the products on his website and also his Instagram link as well. If you haven't done so and you just found my channel, please click on my little dude up here 
and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and you'll know when I get my videos up. And also, I got a couple videos here, so if you want to binge, you can always binge beer products, right? It's always good to watch those. So thank you all again for watching. Keep on bearding. See you in the next one.